today I'm going to show you how to make a loaf of French bread. Right down here we have our dough, which just came out of my Bosch mixer. And I'm going to roll this into a rectangle that's a little bit longer than one foot and a little bit shorter, less wide than a foot. So I take the wet dough and I stretch it out into a roughly rectangular shape. If your dough is really sticky, you can always sprinkle a little bit of flour on your counter, but this one's pretty firm, so I'm not going to bother with that. And I take my rolling pin, and I start working the dough from one end to the other, back and forth, to work on that rectangle shape. This is also great if you're doing cinnamon rolls, because you follow a similar process to start. So if you fill the bread, or the dough, and then slice it into a roll shape. So I've got my rectangle. As I mentioned, it's going to be over a little bit, over a foot long and a little less than a foot wide. So I've got that, and that looks pretty even, so I'll set the rolling pin aside. Then I start one corner and work along the length of the dough, rolling it up into a nice snug cylinder. So we get to the end, and there we have a nice long loaf of French bread. You can kind of pinch and tuck the ends under a little bit to make it prettier. And then I'm going to put it on a pan here, which I covered with reusable parchment paper. If you don't have reusable parchment paper, you can also just grease your pan. And I spread that out, make sure it looks nice and even. Then I'm going to put this somewhere warm and cover it with a damp tea towel or just a clean dry cloth, kitchen towel, and then um, I like flour sack towels personally. And I'm going to put it near my oven area and this will rise till it's roughly about double in size. Once it rises, then I'm going to cut slashes in here and coat it with a salt water mix. And then I'm going to bake it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes until it's nicely browning has that great crackly texture on the outside. So I'm going to set this aside next to the oven, cover it up, and we'll be back in about one hour to get it in the oven. All right, it's been about an hour and our bread is ready to go in the oven, so we're going to prep it. Now you see I had it covered here with a flour sack cloth. I like the flour sack towels because they don't have a nap that's going to stick in the dough. So I pull that back and then I'm going to slice it. Now this can be done either with a sharp razor, they have razors specifically for this, or a sharp bread knife. Either will do the job. And then I brush it with a salt water solution that contains two tablespoons of water and one teaspoon of salt. And I apply that all along the length of the bread with this feather pastry brush which was made by a bohemian neighbor of mine, a Czech neighbor, and we call them mischichkas. And my mother always had one when I was a little girl, you can see that. That's actually made out of duck feathers. Anyway, so I use my mischichka to give this whole loaf of bread a nice coating of the salt water. And what that's going to do is to give this French bread a nice crispy crust as it bakes up in the oven. Now I know most of you won't have a feather pastry brush but you can buy just any old pastry brush at the store and that'll work just fine. Okay so I set that aside. You can also get a crispy crust by using steam in your oven but that's a different loaf of bread so we'll cover that another day. Now I'm going to put this in the oven. I have my oven set for 395 because my oven runs a little bit hot but this bakes for roughly 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes until it's a nice golden brown. Here we go. And set the timer. Whoop. Too far, too far, back up, retreat. Boom, and we'll be back in 20 minutes. All right, my bread has just come out of the oven and I've transferred it safely to the top of the stove. 
If you look closely, you can see how those slits have puffed up, made pretty little decorative marks, and given the bread room to expand as it's rising a little bit more in the oven. Now I'm going to take this off the pan and transfer it to a wire rack to cool. And the other one should be out of the oven in about 19 minutes. And you can eat your bread warm out of the oven, but the problem with that is that as you cut into the still hot loaf of bread, it lets all the steam escape. So if you're with a crowd and you're going to eat it all in one sitting, not a problem. But if you're planning to eat the rest of your bread later, what's left of the loaf is going to dry out a lot because you let all that steam escape by cutting it open when it was still really hot. So it's best to wait and not do your slicing until it's had a little bit of a chance to cool off.